defy Hitler. It is time to win this great war. For five long years, we have asked our men to endure the tribulations of war. General Eisenhower. Winston. General Montgomery. Mr. Churchill. What a gathering. If Hitler were to drop a bomb on this little patch, he would destroy the entire high command of our allied forces. We are here to make the greatest decision of our lives. The invasion of France taking the German army head on. I've seen this before. A quarter of a million men were cut down at Gallipoli. We must spread the risk. The plans for D-Day have been in place for over a month. I don't want to make the same mistake. The forces are not carrying out your plans. We're taking care of it. You need to let us do the job. I beg your pardon. I am the prime minister of this country, and I shall not be stopped from speaking my mind. You can't just change everything over the heads of our allies. Don't assume you're the only one capable of making decisions. I need your help. Try acting like a hero, Winston, and then maybe people will believe that you are one. Men will die. That's enough! My fiancé is on one of those ships. I'm sorry. I have no right. You have every right. He's not the man he was. He could be a liability as a leader. Would you have us do nothing with the Nazis massing 20 miles off our shores? No! I would have us do more! This magnificent effort of air, land, and sea. We must launch now. He has to address the nation tomorrow. Either to tell them we're winning the war, or that we've just killed thousands of people. Whatever happens, we must give them hope. When it's all over, what will I be? You will always be the man who led us through this. Our troops will fight on, and we shall never surrender.